doesn't love candy? The candy shop's open, y'all! Welcome to Mondays with Mark, everybody. I am Mark, and this is Smokey Stephen Mark. Yes, 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 it is. And welcome to a very special edition of The Candy Shop. Oh, man, I am so excited. I mean, who doesn't love candy, right? And you know what else I love? Oh, my gosh. I love spending time with you, of course. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's true though, it's so true. I really look forward to our time together on Mondays. I really, really do. And uh, you know what? I, we have such a fun episode tonight. So thank you so much for stopping by the candy shop this evening. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. We have like not one, not two, but three projects to do. And then of course I have uh, some interesting facts on candy for Valentine's Day. I do. And we even have a giveaway. Yeah, two weeks in a row we have a giveaway on Mondays with Mark. How about that? And this one's like, this one's a pretty special one too because it's, it's our Valentine's Day giveaway. So, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later, you know. So how the heck are you anyway? How was your weekend? Was it nice? I hope it was. We're pretty busy here. Man, I think life is like, like, like going very, very fast. Like I knew that last year went by fast. You know, when you look back on it and you're thinking, holy heck, that went fast. But it seems like nothing has changed in this year. I mean, we're already coming up on mid-February. I mean, uh, but that just means that summer's coming all that quicker, right? So I'm here for it too. I have my little ambiance in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. Today I have, um, I have a library scene with a rainstorm on the outside and a little crackling fire on the inside. I don't see, can you hear it? Let's see. Hear it? I love, I just love these ambiance videos. I just love them, I play them all the time. <laughs> I know, you're probably tired of me talking about it here. We'll turn it down. All right, all right, there we go. So anyway, oh my gosh. So I wanted to, I, I was thinking about something, okay? so. Y'all, the big day is one week away. Valentine's Day is next Monday. Can you believe it? And I've been having so much fun this year doing Valentine's Day videos. So I have you to thank for that. So thank you very much. But Valentine's Day is not just for lovers, right? I think that Valentine's Day is also a perfect opportunity to show ourselves some love too. Yep, some self-love. You know, I'm pretty big on that, you know, and so I'd like to bring back the pinky promise this week, if you will, okay? So let's promise each other that we will do at least one thing this week nice for ourselves, okay? Set up a nice steaming bath with some candles, you know, maybe go out to dinner or order in dinner and watch a favorite movie. Just something to show yourself a little bit of love, okay? Let's make a little promise and do that, okay? And a little, little addition to that promise, don't feel guilty about it, okay? It's perfectly okay and it's actually very healthy, okay? All right, so we're, we're, we're going to do that this week. All right. So, oh my gosh, we have so much to get to. I think we should like dive right in, right? All right, so, want to do a project? Do I do. Oh, yes, we're going to make our first project of the evening. And this one is so thoughtful and so awesome. Just perfect for that special someone in your life. We're going to make a candy bouquet, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, it all begins with the materials. What do we need, right? So, obviously, we need candy, yes. So, you can be as creative with this as you want. You can pick any type of candy at all. The only thing you will absolutely need is four boxes of, you know, 
the movie theater style candy in these boxes like this. You'll need four of those because this is what we're going to make our vase out of, okay? All right. And then in addition to that, any other type of candy. I got some miniature candy bars here, some full-size ones, some lollipops, even got a mini little box of chocolates here shaped like a heart, okay? So in addition to that, you will need some tape. Yep. You'll need some scrap foam, okay? You can get something like this at the Dollar Tree, or you can just get some scrap foam, like, that comes in, like, packaging material. You just need a little piece of it, okay? You'll need some popsicle sticks, or candy sticks, or wooden skewers, all right? And some green tissue paper, and then a scrap piece of cardboard of some type, too, okay? Scrap is the key word here, okay? All right, there's that. And then some other little things like you need your hot glue gun, maybe some scissors. We'll get to that as we go along, all right? So let's get started. So the first thing we do is build our vase, all right? So what I did was I just took four uh, of these boxes of chocolates and I hot glued them together to form a box like this and this will serve as our vase to hold all of our other candy in okay the next thing I did and I already have it cut ready to go here I took our scrap cardboard and I cut a piece to fit the bottom so that it has some type of little base there okay and it's just as easy as hot gluing that right to the bottom just like this all right and now we have a bottom to our vase <laughs> nice. Okay, next step, grab our styrofoam. And I already have this cut too. We're going to cut it to fit down inside the opening right here, okay? So like this. So look, watch. Look how cool. It just fits right down in there like that. And then I cut another little piece just to put in there to, so it's, it's up a little higher, you know. So that part is done. All right. The next step. We're going to take all of that candy that we're going to use to make our bouquet with, and we're going to attach our sticks to it. Now, like I said, you could use popsicle sticks or wooden skewers. I just happen to have these white candy sticks that I think will look, you know, pretty good. And it's as simple as taping them to the back of our candy, okay? Okay, all right. Got all that done. All right, as you can see, they're all... They're all on sticks. Okay. So we're going to back up a second here because I wanted to um, do a little detail work on my vase. You know, I'm going to decorate it a little bit and it'll be a lot easier to do it now than to do it later. Okay. So also out of the same scrap cardboard, I cut some little strips about an inch wide. And on the other side of the cardboard, it's corrugated like that really cool, huh? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on the bottom, all the way around the bottom of my um, candy vase using my hot glue gun, okay? Okay, and just like that. So now I have a little border on the bottom of it, okay? All right, it'll all tie in together later, all right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put all of our candy inside our candy vase. So using the sticks, we're just going to press them down into our foam. And I would suggest working from, your, from the back to the front. You know, like the largest pieces would go obviously in the back. You know, I'm going to start with my big heart here because that's the like, kind of center piece, you know? And then we're just going to tuck in the rest of our candy all around, okay? Let's get started. All right, there we go. All right, as you can see, all of our candy is nice and tucked into our foam in there. Looks kind of cute, huh? So the next step, I took my tissue paper, my green tissue paper, and I cut it into little squares like this, all right? And I'm just gonna grab it from the center and pull it forward, just like that. And we're gonna tuck it in all around the bottom of all of where our, our whoops, where our candy is there, okay? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> nice little finishing touch, don't you think? There we go. All right, and then to just complete the look, I just happen to have some heart stickers here. I think it would be real nice 
to add a heart to our cardboard right in the center. Let me see here. There we go. Trying to do it from the side like that. And then there and there. And I think that's it. Here we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> that was fun to make. And there you have it. Your very own candy bouquet. You know, I was thinking, oh, we're all in trouble now. Um, well, you know how I like, you know, interesting facts and stuff like that. Well, I got to thinking, I bet you there are some interesting facts about Valentine's Day candy. Well, it turns out there is. For centuries, Valentine's Day has been connected to love and romance, and St. Valentine was an actual person, too. But the holiday wasn't always as romantic as it is today. The pagan festival of Lupercalia, in which Valentine's Day is considered to have roots, was very violent indeed. Now, over the centuries, February has become the month of couples and loved ones. Of course, like any other holiday, customs and traditions play a very important role in Valentine's Day celebrations. And candy? Well, that's an essential part of Valentine's Day. In fact, since ancient times, chocolate itself has been considered a love food. So, have you ever wondered what the first Valentine's Day candy ever created was? And how did candy become so associated with Valentine's Day? Well, it all started many, many years ago in merry old England. Back in 1861, the Cadbury Company created fancy boxes, which were exactly what they sounded like. They decided to sell their chocolate in heart-shaped boxes and market it as the perfect gift for Valentine's Day. The boxes were decorated with cupids and roses and hearts and other romantic imagery, which made them an instant hit. Cadbury heart-shaped boxes were the first ever created, and from then on, they became part of the holiday's custom. Welcome in the conversation heart! Now, this candy has been around for more than a century. It actually got its start around the time of the Civil War, and uh, when it first came out, these candies were called cockles. The candy hearts that we know and love today have been on the market since 1902, when the Necco Candy Company printed sayings on their candy shapes. And these sayings are updated every year. Conversation hearts are used for a variety of things, including gift giving and cake decorating. Or for crafting! Today, there are so many Valentine's Day candies out there, and three of the most popular for the last three years in a row are Dove Chocolate Hearts, Swedish Fish Hearts, and Fun Dip Valentine Candy. One of my personal favorites, for sure. I mean, come on, it's just a fun candy, right? <laughs> well, like most holidays, candy plays a very important role at Valentine's Day, right? And there are so many variations out there. So, what's your favorite? Is it the Reese's peanut butter egg? Or are you old school and like those conversation hearts? Or how about just a box of chocolates? Let us know in the comments below, okay? Remember our project from last year using the conversation hearts? I still have them. Oh, yes, I'm going to put these up on the backdrop uh, for this week. All right, so I have another, like, totally awesome project for you, okay? Now, you know, all the projects tonight actually are absolutely perfect to give as gifts to your sweetie, definitely. And I don't, you know, I think they're 
It's just nothing better than a handcrafted gift, right? Especially at Valentine's Day. So thoughtful. I don't know. And this is one that I think you might like, okay? All right. So speaking of picture frames, we are going to use a picture frame in this project, but not for what you think, all right? We're going to make a box of chocolates out of a picture frame. <laughs> so let's get started, shall we? All right. We'll start with the materials. What do we need? Well, since we're using, you know, photo frames, you are going to need a picture frame, and I used an 8x10 frame, okay? In addition to that, you'll need some foil-wrapped chocolate hearts like these. You're also going to need some type of uh, backing, like a colored piece of paper or cardstock, okay? You'll need a personal picture to put in the picture frame, and then you're going to need some type of, like, packaging or a box, maybe wrapping paper to wrap up the finished product, okay? And then finally, we're going to need our glue gun. And that's it. That's all you need for this project. So, how do we begin? It's as easy as this. The first thing I did was I took my frame, took it apart, right? And then I popped my personal picture in it. Look, me and Steve. <laughs> All right, so this is going to serve as the base of our chocolate box, okay? So notice I did choose a frame that was kind of like shadow boxy in a way, meaning it has a little bit of a lip on the inside here, okay? Kind of like well, a box in a way, all right? You don't have to do that, but I do think it will work best with this project, okay? So now that that's done, the next step, we're going to take our colored paper and look, I got this, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of glittery um, cardstock here. And I cut it to fit inside the frame from the front, not the back. So we're just gonna pop that in there just like that. Okay, and I cut it just slightly larger so I can slide it underneath the lip and make it all nice and flat. There we go. Gotta get, get under there. All right, there we go. So now it's so now we have this to work with. Okay, this is our canvas for our picture. <laughs> all right. So now. The next step is we're going to get our chocolate foil wrapped hearts, okay? And I got a big selection of them in all different colors. There's cookies and cream, there's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, caramel, oh my gosh, and what are these? Oh, caramel, okay. Oh, and chocolate truffle flavor too. See, I'm trying to, like, this is like an assorted box of chocolates and trying to get at here. So I got all different flavors of hearts, okay? And then we're gonna open them all up and put them in front of us. Okay, and then so they're all, they're all unwrapped and ready to go. Yes, okay. And I have my glue gun ready as well. Now you're gonna wanna set your glue gun to the lowest temperature it has if, if you have a dial like that, okay? Um, the, the real hot temperatures will probably melt the chocolate. So we want it on the lowest temperature possible, okay? And then every time we grab a heart, you're gonna wanna make sure that the back of the heart is completely covered with the foil. We don't wanna get any glue on anything we're gonna eat, right? Although hot glue actually is not toxic and it doesn't produce toxic fumes either. You know, good thing to know, but still, we don't want to get any on anything we're going to eat, right? All right. So as you probably can guess it, we're going to stick our um, foil-wrapped hearts right onto our frame and that piece of colored paper that we had put in there, okay? So just using a small dab of hot glue right in the center, you only need a little bit, just like that. And then we're just going to glue it to our inside of our frame here like this, okay? Like that. And then we're just gonna repeat, 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 repeat all the way down until our entire space is filled, you know, making whatever design you wanna make. All right, let's get started. Okay. All right, and uh, that side's the top. And there you have it, look. Looks kinda cool, huh? All right, so now we have our box of chocolates. And what's cool about this is when you're, you know, the person you're giving it to, you know, they can eat all their chocolates, right? And then underneath they have a framed picture. 
you know, that they can hang on the wall or put on the mantle. I don't know. I think it's brilliant, don't you? Ah, always thinking. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, okay, so the next step is we're going to wrap it, okay? So, I kind of want to keep it, you know, looking like a box of chocolates. So, I just got an old cardboard box. And you know what? This might be a little um, tip for you. I don't know. This was a box that I something was shipped in to me, you know, um, and it looked like this. You know, it was it was like that. So, I just took apart the box. Like, I unstuck it. You know, and I took it apart and I reversed it and folded it inside out and stuck it back together. And that gave me a nice clean box to use for this. And then in addition to that, I have some tissue paper to line it with, some ribbons to, to tie it up with, and a little embellishment that I had cut out of a piece of cardboard. <laughs> you know, so, uh, and it's just as easy as putting let's let's get it all together and pack it up okay i think i like it dun, 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 dun. okay and for the finishing touch <laughs> so there we have it our picture frame box of chocolates. Yay! <laughs> okay, so Steve's gift check! It's giveaway time! Oh. Yes, my favorite time. I love a good giveaway. <laughs> All right, so this is our Valentine's Day giveaway. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, and it's so much fun. So, how do you enter? All right, so what we're going to do is this. You're going to guess the number of lollipops in the jar. Oh, yes, you are. Okay, I'll give you a close-up of it a little bit later, okay? And, okay, so the person who correct, who, who uh, figures out the exact number of lollipops in the jar without going over, yep, we're going to do the price is right thing, okay? Can't go over. Uh, closest to the actual amount of lollipops that are in here will win, okay? Now, if multiple people pick the correct amount of lollipops in here, we'll put all of those people in a basket and we'll draw a winner, okay? Okay, so where do you enter? Well, that's kind of fun too. So, Tomorrow at noon, I will put a community post up with a close-up picture of our jar. And you will just comment below our community post with your guess, okay? It's as easy as that, all right? So, here's the jar for right now. I'll spin it around there for you there. Here, I'll even shake it a little so you know there's no, nothing funny going on. I didn't put any fillers in here, nothing like that. These are all all lollipops okay all right so to recap all you have to do is guess the number of lollipops in our jar i will put a community post up tomorrow and you will comment below that community post right here on our channel okay all right now we'll pick the winner on valentine's day that's next monday on mondays with mark all right oh <laughs> what do you win Check it out. You're going to win an evening out on us. That'll be a $25 Regal Theaters gift card and a $25 Darden gift card as well. 50 bucks up for grabs just for you. Good luck, everybody. So I just happen to have one last little project for you. Do you like our little topiary here? Ah, it's a candy topiary. That's what we're gonna make right now. Super easy, super fun, and super fast to make, all right? So what do we need? We need a foam cone like this, any craft store, online, or the Dollar Tree. Okay, and then we're gonna need a candlestick, also I got at the Dollar Store. And then you're going to need some lollipops, and I got the Charms Mini Pops for this one, but any one of them will do, okay? And to start off, all we're going to do is take our lollipops, and we're gonna cut the bottom off to about 
right there. So you have anywhere from a half inch to an inch from the lollipop itself. And we're just going to boom. Ha ha. See that? Watch. Boom. Oh my gosh. And check this out. If you happen to have a kitty, this will be their favorite part of this craft. For real. Bandit loved it. Ha ha. Okay, all right, so then it's as simple as starting from the bottom and working our way to the top. We just press them in, like that. And then we just keep going all the way around until our entire cone is filled. So how many of these things do you need, right? All right, I counted mine. So I made a whole one right before this video and I had to use you know, wait for it. Now, don't freak out about this, okay? Because it is a lot. <laughs> 105. It took 105 lollipops to cover an entire cone this size, okay? So that'll give you a basic idea. If you happen to use larger lollipops, I'm sure you will use less, you know. But uh, using the mini ones, it was 105. Exactly. All right. All right. Well, this does take a couple minutes, so I guess I'll see you in a second here. Right. Oops, one fell off. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to make you sit here while I cover this entire cone, okay? You get the idea. We're covering the entire cone, okay? <laughs> After making two of these, I think I'm a little over it at this point. No, you know what? This is a great project to do while you're watching TV, like pushing the... It, Okay, anyway, so anyway, after you have your whole, like the whole cone totally filled, okay, we're going to go through and poof out our wrappers to cover any spaces that might show through. And the last step is to hot glue our cone right to our candle holder, just like that. And then it'll look like this one over here. Now for me, I'm going to keep this one just flat like this because I want two different heights, you know? So I'm going to keep one just flat like this, okay? And honestly, that's all there is to it. And you too can have your own candy topiary. You know, I really, I really like those. They're pretty, pretty cool, right? I mean, how awesome would it be to, like, have those as decor, you know, sitting around and people can just walk past and, like, take a lollipop out? That's pretty cool. Oh, my gosh. So that was, that was our lollipop topiary. Well, I guess it's not, like, a proper topiary, right? I don't know. What would it be? A lollipop tree, maybe? Lollipop decor, I don't know. I like calling it a topiary. But you know what? If you did want a proper topiary, just swap out the foam cone with a styrofoam ball like that and then mount it on top of the candlestick. And then that, I guess, would be a proper topiary, right? <laughs> Either way, really, really awesome and easy project. Oh my God. Well, I am candied out, y'all. Oh my gosh. But... I had such a blast making this video, though, and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I do. I mean, like I said before, who doesn't like candy, right? It just, it just, candy just makes you happy, you know? Like, whether you eat it or not, right? I don't know. I just, I've always been a fan of candy. I know, real original, right? <laughs> well... I think that's about all she wrote tonight, folks. So thank you so, so much for watching. Um, it really does mean the world to me. Please definitely hit that subscribe button, okay? And give that notification bell a little tickle so you know when we have a new video coming out, okay? Uh, check us out over on Facebook and Instagram. I'll post all the projects that we did today. I'll post over there. Um, be sure to check out our community post tomorrow if you want to enter our Valentine's Valentine's Day giveaway, okay? All of our contact information is listed right down below. That'll be our P.O. box and our email address. If you have any questions on anything we talked about tonight, just shoot me an email, okay? Thank you again for spending your time with me. Remember, everybody, stay safe, stay well, and eat lots of candy, okay? Ciao, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>